Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another video. Resurrect or O's HQ, guys. So yes, we have got fiestas to work on. <laughs> I just, it, it, I don't know what it is with fiestas. It just, they just, I'm just attracted to them. I'm sure I am. I just, it's just one of them things like, what it is is that you, I know that they're easy fixes. They, I know the parts are cheap to get and they're, everywhere parts for these fiestas and i know that they go and sell so quick so it's a no-brainer for me really like see them doors they're not open at the minute obviously but to keep them open you've got to pay the bills and if you get cars that ain't paying the bills that sit around for ages and um you know they're not as popular as most cars it's just business sense. It's nothing else. It's just business sense to get get vehicles that you know are not going to cause any problems and to, to to fix it and sell it. It's just it's one of them things. Anyway, there's enough of that, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you most of you just want to watch me do the content and get into it, get into the you know the damage and you know just me waffle on really. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to jump on. Not this one, we're not gonna do that one today. We're gonna to do the orange one, which is outside. I'm gonna call it orange, because I don't exactly know the color, but it's a really nice one, to be honest with you. I do like it. So, and a lot of you guys like it as well, because I've got a lot of messages and a lot of comments saying it's a really nice color, and it's gonna it's gonna go quick, and it's gonna be, you know, it's in, interesting in it and everything. So, and to be honest with you, uh, I've, I've, I've been messaged and people messaging me asking me about price and costs and you know, all this sort of stuff already on these two cars. So. It's a win-win, and I'm, I'll be doing full services on these cars as well. So services, cam belts, timing belts, water pumps, everything. I want to do the whole lot, service, because then I know that it's, you know, absolutely spot on for the new owner. So, and that's what it's all about, just making sure the cars uh, are up to scratch um, and they're, they're as best I can. And, you know, you guys know I'll do that anyway. So, anyway, let's crack on, guys. Let's get outside, because... I can't bring the car in because of the suspension damage. Let's um, let's start. I'll set you up. We'll start. We'll take the wheel off. We'll start having a look, and then I'll show you exactly what is going on underneath there. Okay, guys, what an absolute joke that was to get that tire off, that wheel. Incredible, I had to use that bar, you saw me, I had to use that bar and lever it, it's so tight, it's not supposed to be that tight. You don't need to have tire uh, wheels, alloy wheels on that tire, it's crazy. So anyway, I bet all the rest of the wheels are like it as well. Let's have a look at this damage anyway. Um, right, okay, so straight away, you can see that hanging there. So that's obviously the drop, drop link that connects um, up there and down to the anti-roll bar <clears throat> um, so yeah drop link for anti-roll bar that needs to be changed uh, you also can see the, the tie rod here um, and probably the end um, so we'll do that as well for the steering steering rack um, yeah we'll change that over because that is all bent up like that. Um, and then if I get you underneath there, I'll show you. Can I show you that there? Yeah. I'll show you from this end. So you can see that that lower wishbone has got a bend right there. So that's not good as well. So, yeah, it just looks like, just looks like the lower wishbone, the drop link and the tie rod for the steering rack and the tie rod end. 
probably just, to, I just the actual end does look okay but it's not really worth it you know what i mean if you're going to change the actual bar and that you might as well change the whole thing so yeah so i'll change that that's all good um there's loads there's loads of the discs are pretty good there's hardly anything on this lip at all there's the slightest bit but nothing at all really and uh loads of uh loads of uh pad pad wear on that loads of meat on the wet on the old pad so that's good um yeah but obviously you can see here the, the actual damage here as well so this is obviously part of the wing um so that needs to be sorted out but it looks like it's just been it's it's all gone like like um brush where the where the wheel has brushed against it and sort of you know pulled it pulled it away so you know you've got a little scuff here but that's not dented it's just sort of a little bit scuffy um i think i have to change the wheel arch because obviously we're missing a bit of wheel arch there at the bottom there and goes it goes across so yeah let's, we'll have to we'll have to change that over take the uh take the wing off and um take it off i might be able to do it whilst it's on don't know i'll have a look um but take yeah that needs to be a little bit of movement on it, it needs, to be, it needs to be pulled back a little bit it's a little bit close to the door here uh, there so that's the gap really that it should be at the top as it comes down it pulls against the door so you need to undo them bolts at the bottom and then um yeah see if i can play around with the actual um wing itself straighten it back up and then put it back into place basically yeah that's basically what i've got to do so um i might have a look online see if i can find a wing if i can find a cheap wing in that color i might grab it like you know what i mean if i get one for like 30 quid 40 quid in the color i'll grab it very much day because it's quite an unusual color this one but we'll see yeah but for now um we need to change these bits and pieces over and um yeah so we can, we can move the car around um because i want to do a, a good service on this car as well major service cam belt um timing belt and all that sort of stuff water pump like i said so yeah there we go but um got some great news on this car absolutely great fantastic news so basically i told you yesterday that i used when I picked up these two cars and dropped them off, I was using the trolley for something else. And basically what it was that someone asked me to pick up the car for them um, and drop it back to them. So that's what I did. And he said to me, like, you know, what do you want for doing it? And I said, look, I've got a car, Fiesta, it's got a damage, suspension damage. I said, if you buy me a few bits and pieces, we'll just call it quits. Like, so that's what's going to happen. He's going to buy me these bits, um, what I need, which is going to be the lower wishbone, the drop link, and that um, track wide end. And track rod uh, steering rack bar <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get me these bits for this car for doing that job from yesterday so basically I paid 35 quid to hire that trailer yesterday picked up these two cars and I've done that other job for him and he managed to get me these parts for this so <laughs> yeah what a result um, yeah it's worked out really well plus I had a phone call late last night, about five o'clock, from the place that I got the car from. They called me and said, um, they've just received in the post um, a spare key, a booklet, a service service record, and um, the, the V5 slip, um, blog book slip, for this car. So, yeah, this, this car just... He's absolutely getting absolutely better and better. Incredible. So hopefully he's got a good service history with his car, um, with a booklet, and at least we've got a spare key. So, yeah, I've just got to go and um, uh, pick it up off them when I go there Monday to pick the other car up that I've got um, to pick up Monday. Yeah, so it's worked out really well. And this car just seems to be, yeah, so, you know, just this car seems to be uh, doing really well at the moment. Um when it comes to bits and pieces and, 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 and what it's all about. So yeah, incredible. It's working out really well, this one, guys. So um, let me go and get some bits and pieces. Let me go and get those those parts off him uh, that he got for me. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get this car at least moving around properly. And then we can get it into the workshop, start stripping out the uh, engine uh, and getting that till timing stuff done as well. So yeah, let's do it.
Right, okay guys, so these, it's off. So that's the damage, you can see it. Wishbone, it's got a massive kink in it. Um, tie rod, it's got a massive bow in it. <laughs> and the drop link's snapped. So, yeah, we'll, I'll replace these parts. And then we'll see what the wheel lines up like, really. Um, yeah. Here we go. This, the actual um, leg seems fine, to be honest with you, but you, you just never know. Um, I will reuse this for now, um, but if we have a problem, MOT or tracking, then I think we'll have to get this replaced, this leg. But for now, I think... That is the damage parts off. So yeah, managed to use this little contraption. I've, I bought this a little while back now, and it's been a great, great tool to use. And you just slide it over the bar, and then you just you just undo it like that, and you just turn it over to undo and do up. So yeah, pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Make sure that obviously the boot is not damaged, nothing like that, and then that can be go back on. Uh, some Jubilee clips, one at each end. I think this side. Oh, I think the small side just slots in somehow. You don't need a clip over that. But the actual end, the larger part of that end, you do need to put a Jubilee clip at the other end. So I'll do that because this one here, let me get it out. It just, yeah, to get it off, is <laughs> you just had to break it off. <laughs> and then normally, I think that some, some of these are one-time uses as well. I don't know if this is the right one. But uh, anyway. We'll put a Jubilee clip on that and get that done. So, there we go. Gonna get some, uh, hopefully get some parts soon. And yeah, we can get this back on. And um, I've got still got a source of a wheel. I'll see if I can find one. They're really, they're really hard to find these wheels. So, I'm gonna see if I can find one of them. Because there's no way I'm replacing it, uh, repairing that. Right, so there we go, um, that's it for now. I'll come back to you guys. So guys, as you can see, got some new parts. Um, yeah, and you can see, look at the, the actual kink in that compared to this one. So it has had a good whack. Yeah, that is it. So got a new one, all the new stuff. Um, it was 21, 21 um, complete turns to get this tie rod end off. So it will be 21 turns back on um, on this when I do that when I put that on there uh, drop link as well brand new so all yeah all brand new gear guys um, yeah and uh, yeah because I picked up that car yesterday absolutely free so yeah incredible yeah really good so let's go for it I'll set you up and uh, we'll start putting this back together yeah see what it lines up like so let's do it Right, as you can see, nice new shiny parts there. I've checked the actual leg. Um, it looks straight, there's no dents in it. You really never know, like I said, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be all right. If it ain't, it's getting changed. Um, the drive shaft as well looks, there's no kinks or dents in that. Um, 
so we'll have a little you know we'll, we'll run run it in a second and uh see if it's okay uh but yeah it's good i took it off the wheel arch because obviously we're gonna get that replaced um we've still got to mess about with this a little bit but it you can see that i've undone the two bolts at the bottom here these two here so i've undone them two um and then as you can see like it just you know literally just moves over like that just it needs a little little tweak and a little doing back up but i've just got to sort this metal out here and stuff like that and pull that back and give that a spray up and make sure that's all clean this bare metal as well see all that i want to make sure that i spray that in there with a bit of sealer and then um i'll get some uh color match so this is actually called uh mars red this color mars red so yeah i'll get some mars red knocked up in a can rattle can and then i'll just um yeah spray it in once i've put a little bit of a uh, metal protection first sealer over the top of that first so there we go all right let's get the um let's get the wheel on i've still got to do this nut up as well i forgot to do that let me do it like that first <laughs> let me do it i'll do up this nut and then we'll stick the wheel on and then we'll put her inside and then um yeah carry on so let's do it right as you can see she's in the lockup yep she's got her in the workshop um what i did basically i didn't use the other wheel that was all busted because i just didn't trust it um it could have popped and bumped by any time so what i did was i whipped off the one on this because they're coming off anyway on the front end on this one they're coming off so i can get this front end done so i thought if i jack it up take the wheel off um put it on that one and then that way i can have a little just a little quick buzz up and down the yard here just to see what the car felt like and it feels really solid um i didn't really feel any any issues no no there was no knocking no bumping nothing it felt really really solid and straight so um the steering wheel is straight as well to the to the, to the actual the wheels and stuff but I'm still going to get the tracking done uh, because I've messed around with the suspension and the uh, track rod and, and, the, and the track rod end and all that sort of business. I just want to get the tracking done. Just peace of mind that I know that it's, it's all done and sorted. But it uh, looks pretty smart. Um, I do like this colour. Um, this is Mars Red, as I was just saying. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it shouldn't really take much now to mess around with this wing. Um, I haven't done it up yet, but you can st you can tell that it's it's much better at the bottom now already. So all I've got to do is straighten that wing up, uh, do a little bit of paint on the inside, make sure I sealed the bare metal. Got to make sure I sealed up um, like a primer or whatever. And then I'm going to pull these uh, skirtings off, and then I need to redo the bracket that's here. I'll show you. So you can see that bracket there. So that route needs, um, yeah, that needs securing back to the actual um, skirting first, and then it will pop back in place with the popper. See a little popper there? It will pop back in place. So that's what I've got to do, really. I've got to pop them off, um, just do the repair, um, and then, yeah, just move along with it, really. Um, same stuff, really, when it comes to the cars. Usual stuff, guys. Seats out. Um, getting me old putsy carpet cleaner underneath the seats do the seats the upholstery just the normal stuff really but on this one we're going to definitely be doing the timing belt and the water pump auxiliary belt uh good service oil oil filter air filter the whole lot on this one um yeah that's that's going to get the whole 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 shebang because <laughs> it's a 2012 so yeah it's uh 10 years old over um <laughs> And it needs, yeah, it needs, uh, it needs, it needs doing really. So because it, I think it hasn't been done, well, from what I can tell, this one's a different story because it's a 2013, and it's only done. I think it's done 63. This one, I'm not sure. Did I show you this? I can't remember if I showed you or not. Is it coming up? Yeah, it's coming up. Nah, it's not got enough power. I don't think. No, not enough power. I think this one's done 63. Um, so really, that kind of don't need it. Um, so 
yeah, I'm not sure about that one yet. Not sure, not sure. <laughs> I've got to look at the figures, guys. It's always about the figures. So, but yeah, sorry guys, going back to this. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's getting there. At least that's, at least it's drivable, at least it's movable now. I can move it around uh, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all right, it's a decent car. It's gonna, this is gonna do someone. 58,471. Um, it's got Bluetooth hands-free bluetooth thing and all that it's got a little uh, the the, the um, i think that's an upgraded um thing that was you can have done so yeah smart little car this one when it's done but i think the cam belt and stuff like that's going to be for another another video guys i'm going to leave it for now um i'm going to call it a day um i'm really shattered tired to be honest with you um i'm going to have this weekend off again <laughs> uh, and uh, spend time with the family but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, yeah, guys, listen, really appreciate all the support. Don't forget to drop me a comment as per usual. And I will get back to you guys. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because that helps all the actual uh, all the stuff on YouTube. But yeah, apart from that, um, that's it. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.